Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to change the oil in your 50 or 150 cc scooter. Let's get started. Alright, so the materials you're going to need are going to be a drain pan, a funnel, a socket, and whatever oil that is in your maintenance manual. The first thing you're going to want to do is put the scooter on the center stand and then start the scooter and let it warm up for about 10 to 15 minutes. This will warm up the oil and make it uh, have a higher viscosity so you can get more out of the engine. So the two places we're going to be focused on today are going to be here, which is the dipstick and oil fill stem, and here. This is the drain plug and also houses the oil filter. So now that the scooter is warmed up, and the oil is heated up, take out your dipstick from the filler stem. Um, this will allow air to pass through the engine and let more of the oil come out and it will come out quicker. So you can see this is what mine looks like here. So now take your socket and loosen the drain plug. Um, now remember this is going to be some warm oil coming out of here so wear some gloves or protective uh, barrier on your hands depending on how long you heat the engine up for. Alright so you can see the oil is coming out now so you just want to let it drain out. Look how nasty it is. It's uh, this is about 1,500 miles on this oil change. After some of the oil has came out, you can pull the filter out and use some brake clean or carb cleaner to clean out the uh, little mesh cage that serves as the filter. So here's what the filter looks like. It looks just like a little cage with an o-ring and a spring that the cap holds that filter up inside there. That's what it looks like cleaned out. There was a bunch of little particles in there. Once you've cleaned that out, you can go ahead and replace the filter. 
and also replace the cap. Be careful not to over tighten the drain plug because you can ruin the threads and it'll make for a hard time to change the oil the next time. Now using your funnel, I know mine looks funny, but they're actually glued together and I can't get them apart, so I'm just using both of them. Anyways, based on the specs in your manual, fill the engine up to that spec. Unfortunately, my scooter is a weird brand from China. It's not even the standard Tao Tao brand, so I don't even have a measurement. So what I'm going to do is, as I fill it up a little bit, I'm going to keep checking the dipstick to see where the level is. That way I don't overfill it. To test the oil level, turn your dipstick back into the fill stem until it's all the way in and that will measure the standing le oil level in the engine. Once you get your oil level to in between the high and the low mark, go ahead and put the cap back on and we'll have to restart the engine and let it get up to operating temperature once again. And then we can check the oil level once more.
So after warming it up, it looks like my level is at about half, uh, maybe a little over that. I'm going to add some more because this engine likes to have a little extra oil in it. Um, and I am running full synthetic. That's what it says in the manual. So I'm going to add just a little bit more and we should be good. guys thanks for watching I hope that helps um, these scooters are really easy to work on um, with the basic tools so I'm just gonna keep showing that next thing I'm gonna do is change the gear oil I couldn't find any 5w50 which is what this calls for um, so I don't want to put anything else in with than what's in the manual but uh, appreciate you guys and peace